my goals, personal goals and, and team goals too was to, uh, first personal was to, to make sure that our, our candidates, uh, even though they went through their assessment program the first two days for us when not, battalion wasn't here, uh, that they stepped up and stepped in and made sure that they trained with us uh, and, and taught classes and showed people how to do things and just get comfortable uh, with a little trigger time of uh, teaching and assessing and helping and mentoring. So that was one of my personal goals is to get them involved. And then uh, team goals was just to become, you know, where I come from with Charlie Company up in Saco, we uh, were very tight knit family. And it's just always, these events always bind us and not just us, but battalion as a whole, so. Absolutely, so we did a uh, drill sergeant candidate uh, assessment program. What that consists of is running through uh, what they will experience for the first couple days, couple weeks of drill sergeant school. Uh, to become a candidate, uh, you know, we have to do a lot of screening on you, make sure you fill, uh, fulfill all the requirements. Um, I can't remember them right off the top of my head and on the spot, but is, they're, they're out there. Um, so what that includes is uh, pitching three modules, uh, position of attention, rest positions at the halt and the halt, and then also the 30 inch step from the halt. Uh, they have to, to memorize this. I mean, they work with their companies back at, at their drill halls. Uh, they work with their companies, but then they come to us and we kind of just gauge everybody as a whole and let all the candidates kind of intermingle and be like, how are you doing? How, you know, how's this going? And, and compare each other. And yeah, that sometimes that doesn't work, but this time and the last couple times that we've had a lot of candidates, uh, right now we have, I do believe 11 was the number, uh, with more coming in shortly here. Uh, but we had eight go through uh, the first two days before battalion showed up. And uh, you know, we had them do the three modules. We had them do a PRT, mod uh, two PRT modules, uh, the preparation drill, and then, uh, sorry, the preparatory drill, and the, uh, the uh, recovery drill. And then uh, we had them do a lot of marching, which was good trigger time for them to get used to it because here they're marching a small group of, of seven, you know, with eight, you know, one being out front and then seven in the formation. Uh, when they, you know, when they get their hats and badges and they head down to, uh, you know, Fort Benning to do their AT and get in charge of troops, you're going from seven to 64 in a platoon and then potentially 264 in a company. So got to work on their, their projection and all that, you know, just, just really fine tuning them. Uh, everybody did great this time around, which is, which is not it's not shocking, but it's it's an awesome surprise to see that everybody's pretty much on par with each other. Um, but you just got to fine tune them and then report back to their companies. Uh, they get counseling statements, and then that helps their drill sergeant leaders to uh, know what they need to focus on with their candidates. So it's so mission critical to maintain just even the basic, uh, for lack of a better term, ten level tasks. It really is. Uh, because if you don't know how to do something when you go downrange, as in you know deployed, uh, what even the smallest of tasks? How are you going to learn the biggest of tasks? And if you can maintain the basics, you can then go on and maintain the intermediates and then the the advanced levels. So it, to me, maintaining the basics is something that I feel every soldier, even if it's just popping their head into that, that basic warrior task and battle drill book, or even to any TM that they're gonna be doing, be engaged with what you have, uh, you know, for like supply, be engaged in all the supply rules and regulations for, you know, 42 alphas, the, uh, the paper pushers, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um, you know, they be engaged in what your SOPs are. It, it, if you can't perform your basic tasks as your MOS, then why, you know, how are you, how are you performing your basic tasks as a soldier? Because you never know when the call is going to come. We need you here. We need you there. And they can't even perform a function check on their weapon or they, you know, or perform anything like that. A lot of those are mission critical and, and life or death. The Freedom Ride really brought us back down to earth because a lot of us are, are hard chargers, you know, we had to do a lot of different things and advanced stuff, but then it helps us in a sense that uh, it brings us back down to literally the 10 level tasks, assembly, disassembly, uh, perform radio uh, calls, properly uh, uh, function a radio, you know, load all the channels and all that. Uh, basic land navigation, everything like that. So it, 
really incorporated a lot of the basic tasks and kind of just put it all together and made it work. And it was, it's nice because every time you do one of those, anytime you do an event like this, it sincerely, you learn something. I mean, even if you don't think you know it and then you're like, oh crap, I didn't know that. There it is. So it was just, it was awesome to incorporate. The Freedom Ride really incorporated everything together. Absolutely. So this weekend, um, I'm really excited because, you know, I'm currently in training, but I've been able to see what, uh, you know, well above the standard looks like with a lot of these drill sergeants. So with Alpha Company especially, I've been seeing just the high levels of morale, how high levels of teamwork, um, and it's been just great training with all these uh, excellent NCOs. So today um, it was actually a pretty interesting day because uh, originally this is just a uh, obstacle course, a confidence course. However, we uh, were able to, you know, experience what was changed into a uh, leader reaction course. So the events at all the different events there were actually leadership uh, tests as well as some of the more, you know, physically demanding components to the regular reaction course. So some of those events included uh, navigating teams using limited means of communication through a simulated minefield. That was one. Um, moving uh, objects, rucksacks, all your equipment through, you know, some asymmetric uh, battlefield uh, scenarios, as well as you know some of the more traditional confidence building uh, exercises, such as you know the the one rope bridge and and holding on, you know, to the to the wires on the side. So it was a really great mix of some you know excellent physical activities, as well as some great uh, team bonding and leadership opportunity activities that you know our drill sergeant candidates were able to uh, capitalize on and gain some great um, you know team leader, uh, squad leader level. Uh, leadership reps. So the range I think will went really smoothly. Um, the reflexive fire and the target ID I think those went really well. Um, we were really quick about getting everybody on the range um, in an orderly fashion um, and I think people took a lot out of it. I didn't I was helping support again so I didn't actually participate but um, from what I witnessed and observed everyone seemed to be getting what they needed out of the training um, with the range, definitely. Um, the ruck march was, and the, the sleepover was a little rough because uh, it was in the rain. So that was definitely an experience, um, but we made it through and didn't have any injuries. So that's definitely a positive. Um, I would say just morale and you know, team building, just making sure that the whole battalion's on the same page. Um, just showing that we are, you know, one big unit and it's not just one, you know, isolated company in one part of, you know, the United States. It's, uh, we, it shows that we can work together as, you know, a whole battalion. Um, the big takeaway was that I can trust my team. I have a lot of confidence that they always have my back, so that, again, just like the team building and just building morale amongst the people that you work with um, on a daily basis is really important.